Hey guys, how's it going? We're back again with a new game, Unicorn Overlord. I have been waiting to fire this up for a while now. Everything that I've heard, it's parts uh, Tactics Ogre, parts Final Fantasy Tactics, so that's right up my alley. I love strategy games like that. I'm really curious to see what this has. Just looking at it. Looks like we got a bunch of different classes up here, you know. I wonder, and they can uh, upgrade. Apparently, one time they can upgrade, and yeah, I don't know. I'm really curious to see how this goes. Let's hop on in. Nigh every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmor. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Yet the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can, a sole rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climbs that await. And pray safeguard the ring of the unicorn as well. Hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. My queen, I... Mother? Are they coming for us? Heed well these words, Elaine. I say this not as your mother, but as your queen. From here forth, you're to treat Joseph's command as though it were spoken directly with my tongue. Do you understand? Of course, but is there something amiss? My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. Farewell, and may the heavens guide you. Why are you just standing there, Joseph? Aren't you going to help her? Would that I were able, my prince. Come, we've not a minute to spare. Oh, wow.
shoot you! Witness the royal blade! Oh, wow. I shall protect you! We shall see our duty through! I trust you! How's this? Valmor, to what end do you seek to usurp my throne? Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. Zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of Feverith, and I, the blade to restore our world to its natural order. You seek to plunge the continent into war? <laughs> Feverith need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Now, I shall achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I would sooner see you slain by my hand! <laughs> begins. We stand now at a new dawn for Feverith, one which will see Zenoira's dominion restored at last. Curious, though, that we've no trace of the old knight's captain. About that, my lord, a lone cavalry unit was spotted riding through the eastern gate before it was barred. And the boy is lost to us. A truth obscured only by his mother's futile attempt at a counter-offensive. It would seem I underestimated her penchant for deception. Year 895 of the Hollow Chronicle. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire. Cordia's once decorated General Valmor rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corinne. 
its queen, Alenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight and mustering what meager forces remain by her side. She rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph, who took wing beyond Valmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the forded isle of Palavia in the holy kingdom of Albion. And boastfully proclaiming himself Vembrith's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Yet each realm's endeavors fell in vain time and again, and ere long Zenoira's final dominion was realized. His blood-soaked unification come to bear. Few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance burned on. Yet the downtrodden could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. Desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing night. Ten years have passed since the Shroud of War first set over Cornea. Uh, I wonder if those two are at it again. Well, that takes care of the altar. I suppose I should be getting back. Atlas makes some good games. Oh my god. Sorry, Elaine, but this round's mine. Ah, you always were the optimist. Damn it. You got a good hit in, I'll give you that. There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now. Finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices, I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Well, yeah, but... Zenoira's got the whole world in the palm of their hand. How are we gonna fight back against that? The Earth may be theirs, but the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. You got a point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just... make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, Lex. You know I can't do this without you. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> anyway, that's enough training for today. We're gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Hmm? You see something out there? It's... a ship. Looks like they're flying Zenoira colors, too. This island is no longer safe. We have to tell the others. With you there. You head for the cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming. Seal 
off the harbor and do it quick. Not a soul gets off this island under our watch. All soldiers have alighted, sir. Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. Looks familiar. And remember, we're to apprehend the target alive. Understood, sir. We pray this day for deliverance from evil. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Guide our lost souls on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us, for darkness looms thick through all corners of Fevrith. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the Guardian Unicorn, and that of the Holy Mother. Is that you, Elaine? How many times must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? Uh -oh. What is the meaning of this? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. Rough her up if you want, but don't forget. The girl dies, and our heads will roll, too. Such depravity will not go unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father. Yeah? Then you best get to praying. <laughs> She's fast. Not as fast as us. <laughs> what the? <sighs> Scarlet, are you hurt? Only a little shaken. That's all. What's happening to us, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palavian soil. One hoisting the banner of the Zenoiran army. And... are they aware that you're the Crown Prince? I can't say for certain. But we know one thing. These people are our enemy. And they must be stopped. Yes. My cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move outside. Your Highness, it's a relief to see you unharmed. Hold on. Where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. A ring. The Ring of the Unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply cross your face. But we no longer have such luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. Thank you for this, Joseph. Truly. Make no further mention of it. Now, let us be off. Time is at hand. Onward.
see now. March to me. about. Ready. You got it. All done. Sure thing. On it. I don't think that's a good idea. Service of the royal family. What would you ask? Very well. <sighs> Gaze upon the face of your demise. in my grave yet.
just want to sleep. <laughs> Poor Lars. Onward. Come. Come then. I shall hold nothing back. Your villainy ends here. upon the face of your demise. Come then. Come. You face me. in your command by your word ready you got it your villainy ends here I shall hold nothing back I have you me yet a trivial undertaking we march to me 
as expected. Come then. grows ever closer. This one's mine! I'm awesome. What would you ask? As you wish. Gaze upon the face of your demise. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Accept the mercy of a swift demise. I fail to understand, Holdrick. What has motivated this shift in allegiance? Joseph, Cornea's most decorated knight. I shall close the book on your tale myself. Not today! Go now! Stand true! Onward. Your villainy ends here. Why are you doing this? You, who once stood as my mother's royal guard. Enough of your questions, Well, Interfere, and I shall see you suffer for it. is this one such as I brought low by the cornea vermin that gnawed our ankles you've fallen far indeed Hodric how many times did you stare death in the face at her majesty's side now look what you've become I may stand as your sword master no longer but I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. Wait. Your Highness. 
Tell me, Hodrick. Do you remember the times you and I played together? When I was still just a boy? Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. A simple reason is all I ask. Please. Elaine! The ring! What sorcery is this? Oh, my head! What am I doing here? A spell to shackle the hearts of men. Tis the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill-fated day, all the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. A frightful power, if what you say is true. This spell of control, it could be called. Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Fevrith to its knees. I shudder to think what unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years. Though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be mere regalia, a symbol of your birthright and nothing more. To think the power of cleansing truly exists. Your Highness, that is the Ring of the Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn. How it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. It's entirely possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. Hmm. Should Galerius' rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people? Then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring true, my prince. Indeed. Were we able to free those bound by his cruel magics? It might just bring the Iron Wall of Zenoira crashing down! All told, I've often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march, or paltry vendetta? Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists that will soon be dispelled. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled, and slay Galerius like the beast he is. Where was Lux at? And how does Hodrick fare? Well, all things considered, any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. By the way, Your Highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clive. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we've reached solid ground. You have my thanks. A word, Elaine? Is something wrong? Well... No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. It really isn't important, I assure you. It's just... Our lives have changed so drastically 
from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. But I've always known this day would come. It's why I've spent all these years training under Joseph's careful instruction. A shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward, royal blade in arm. But as her heir, I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Lex spend all your days banging swords down at the shore? You've seen that, have you? You know, Hodric was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. To reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Elaine, I... Of course. I'll do everything I can. As is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me! <sighs> Lex... <laughs> what? I'm sorry, my prince. Decorum doesn't come naturally to this fool. <laughs> it's all right. When you've known each other as long as we have, there's no reason to let formality bind us. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the crown. Still, I'm of the same mind. What mind he has, that is. I'll give my all in the royal name, your majesty. Thank you all. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. Why have you stopped? We're surrounded. Not the welcome party I was hoping for. Get your vile claws off of me! Let her go! I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception, but we've business with the girl. What business could you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. <laughs> I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. Who was that knight who took her? His name is Renault, 
formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia, not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately, I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the Orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear should she fall into Galerius' hands. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. I wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather. I'm your man. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault. We've got to go through them. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we are able.
hours. They will know what hit them. I'm up. Yes, sir. The time is at hand. The path is set. I'm ready to hit something. Sure thing. <clears throat> Onward. You face me. Stuff done and dusted. at hand. Onward. Ready. On it. one's mine.
time is at hand. To me. Your villainy ends here. Onward. in my grave yet. What would you ask? Very well. For the liberation. I shall hold nothing back. you wish. Sure thing. You got it. I have taken it as our own. Your villainy ends here.
another step forth. Victory grows ever closer. Your villainy ends here. to improve. Well fought. <clears throat> Onward. I'll not fail you. By awaiting your command. Good. We march. Don't stand a chance. one's mine. Finally came knocking.
Excellent. The path is set. Come then. Apologies, but I fear we lack the time for pleasantries. Figures. Let's get it over with then. Never healed. Tempered in the cruel flames of war. Victory grows ever closer. Alone, are you? What happened to your friends? Long gone by now, but with all the time about them? Never could have done without you lot chasing me halfway to hell and back, though. The fort's empty, your majesty. Not a soul in sight. Guy laid out the bait, and we just had to take a nibble. Strange. Few leaders would play the sacrificial lamb in such a predicament. <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. I would have shook you off like weak old mud if I hadn't hurt my leg in our little scuffle. But hey, that's just part of the job. You're gambling with your life the second you take that coin. Then you know how this ends. Stay your blade, Lex. There's something I need to ask him. What does Galerius want with Scarlet? I'll take any scraps of information you may have, please. You do realize I'm just hired steel, yeah? They keep my pockets nice and heavy, and that's as far as my curiosity goes. So, sorry, but I'm not a questions kind of guy. At least not past my bottom line. Well, what do we do with him? Let's say I offered to fill those pockets instead. What then? <laughs> First, I'd ask if you still had all your marbles, but... I'm not the discriminating type, as long as the pay's right. If this is supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. We're trying to beat the enemy, not hire them. It's not every day you come across a man willing to greet the heavens in order to see his allies safe. Now, our aim is to liberate these lands from the oppressive clutches of Zenoira and its emperor. I'd ask your aid in that battle. You know... I had heard you were nothing more than the crumbs of some spineless resistance that got chewed up and spat back out. Never would have guessed you're really just a pack of reckless lunatics. This so-called lunatic is none other than Prince Elaine, true-born heir to the Cornian throne. And our war is a righteous one. <laughs> you're trotting around the crown brat of a dead and gone kingdom trying to flip a whole damn empire? Sorry, kids, but I don't like them odds. It doesn't sound like he's interested. <laughs> Hope you know I don't come cheap. Does that mean you'll join us? Granted, you're willing to foot the bill. King Megan's not an everyday job for a merc. But you've seen enough to know I'm worth the gold more. So we got a deal? We'll even cut you a little discount. Now that we've settled matters here, we move to rescue Scarlet. Time grows short. Indeed. It's more than evident Galerius had some grand purpose in kidnapping her. Delivering her from his bloodied talons may strike a heavy blow to the heart of his aims. Perhaps, but this is far sooner than we had planned. Our allies remain scattered through every realm of Fevrith. 
Casting the gauntlet at Renault's feet would only send us all to an early grave. If I may add, there are those among Galerius's adherents who willfully chose to betray the Queen those long years ago. I fear we have no hope of avoiding conflict with such base traitors. It would seem we'll need to bolster our ranks then. Your Highness, upon ushering you to Palavia, I labored tirelessly to build a foundation upon which the Liberation Army can take hold. I have seen great suffering in our lands, tis true, and yet greater resentment harbored by the oppressed and the downtrodden. I have every faith such fierce emotion will spur them to join our cause. My Prince, fly your crest cross the banner of the Liberation. Spearhead the rebellion against Zenoira, and you will surely find kindred spirits ready to take arms in your name. Then I will do just that. I only ask that you be the crutch I may lean on when the perils of war grow too great to bear alone.
On my honor as a knight. You impressed?
As you command, your highness. Just leave it to Lex. Here to shop? Or maybe to sell? Come back soon! If it's steel you're after, you're in the right place. Done and done. Done and done. Be seeing ya. Here to shop? Or come back soon? If it's steel you're after, you're in the right place. Done and done. Done and done. Be seeing ya. I got this.
I'll keep the peace, Your Majesty. Steal you're after, you're in the right place. Be seeing you. How's it going, Discreet? How you doing? Ah. Sorry, got my cat. Not too bad, not too bad. Finally got a new headset, so hopefully this one's not causing all the static of my old one. Oh, there you go, there you go. Ouch. My cat just woke up from sleeping on me. Oh my god, cat. <laughs> I remember, oh god, a few years ago when we were uh, doing long distance teaching, teaching from home. It was nice, but it was also a little rough because I had my cat and I'd shut myself in my room so that way, like, I wouldn't have them doing whatever it is they do in the background. And it was awful because it'd be outside of my room just meowing, meowing, meowing. Oh, God. I hope my kids didn't think that, like, anything bad was happening to my cat. Oh. <laughs> At my school, we have uh, some dogs that we have in there. Oh, gosh. Uh, they're service dogs, and you can have them in your room. And we have a golden retriever, and there's one kid who was like, Oh, the dog, she's biting my arm, she's biting my arm. And we're like, no, she's a retriever. It's like what she does, like she'll take like your hand in her mouth and she'll try and take you somewhere. And this kid, like he liked to... Uh, misbehave a lot so should be trying to like guide him back to like one of the teachers <laughs> it was pretty funny watching her do that i was like oh you're such a cool dog <laughs> here to shop come back soon don't really have enough money to buy anything so i'll just board a ship oh yeah dogs are awesome i told myself once i move somewhere that's bigger than what I live now, I would like to have a dog again. I think I'm on a uh, normal difficulty. I just want to go and figure things out. I'd like to move it up a little bit, but yeah, I just got to figure out how the battles and everything go in this game. It doesn't feel too difficult, but again, these are just your introduction. Oh, alright, so you just got into this game too? Nice, nice. I've heard good things about it, so when I saw it on sale on the uh, PlayStation Network... Uh-oh. 
when I saw it on sale on the PlayStation Network, I was like, all right, let's get it. Oh, I'm about two hours in. <laughs> How would you say? Do you like it so far? What news do you bring? Out with it, lad. It seems Fort Sology has fallen, sir. And here I thought scorpions could sting. Who was it that did them in? A faction calling themselves the Liberation, from what I understand. There we go. Suppose there's no pulling the weeds of rebellion. Yeah, I would have played it, mm -hmm. but I've been working on... Assassin's Sir Creed Morden? Mirage and uh, Uden Chronicles 100 Heroes. You have as many as you need. So I've just been just working through moment, like my you? games list that I've of bought course, so far. Lord. Finished off uh, Assassin's Again, Creed sir? Mirage and is that defined, gosh, Zahir? what is it? I'm it's probably about 15, besides. 16 hours into Uden Chronicles. Hand, Assassin's though, Creed Mirage, that's a fast game. Like, really quick. I want to say I got town. the Platinum in about, like, 25 to 30 once. hours or something if like these that. Pups come scratching at our gates, you're to see them repelled. Teach them the pain of war if you must. Oh, God. Consider it done, sir. Pain of war. <laughs> Iron Helm Mercenaries, huh. Yeah, I don't think we'd be able to take this out right now. Oh, <laughs> and that's a thing, like, I seen that they have Octopath 1, they released it on the PS4, PS5, and I'm really tempted to pick it up, but I'm like, man, I got Uden Chronicles, I got this game, I got a couple of other, I should knock out the games that I do have before I pick up a new one. It's tough though, it's tough. Like, you see it, and you want to get it, especially because I want to say, uh, Octopath, it's on sale right now, so I was like, oh man, I really want to get that, but, you know, should get another cavalry unit, put him in, yeah, let's put him in there. in a unit yeah let's put five in oh just making a full uh, full thing of just one unit let's try or we could try something like we could try something like that I want to try one of those with, like, what we did. Oh. We don't really have anything that could do anything to these guys. Maybe this? They come close. They come close. They do pretty good, but a lot of that's because of Joseph. I wonder if I put Joseph in another unit. Maybe if I put Joseph in here and took out uh, Holdrick? Try this.
Okay, okay, that does. Warrior magic user. Warrior magic user, okay. Oh, even with Joseph, they don't really do it. Huh. I take it the thieves probably just dodge all of our attacks. Available. Ah! So they're saying that we should go down this way, right? And we've already checked everything down there. We've talked to you. Oh, wow. Curse these black talent scum! Oh! 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 You're supposed to be the town guard? <laughs> Sorriest sight I ever seen. Wow. Now go on and run home if you know what's good for you. As if I'd ever seen to vulgar bandits such as you, the father shall strike you down for your sins. Not today you won't, but I'll let you take that up within yourself. Uh-oh. Me? I've had enough divine judgment to last a lifetime. Oh. You know the that drill, boys. Night. Grab anything that's not nailed to the floorboards. Black Talon Bandits. How you doing, George? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good job, Roll. I think I said this. Cornian Militia. There we go. Solitary resistance? Yeah, let's do this. Can we just fight him like this? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Does that take him out? I find out that you can hold down R and it makes it go faster. Oh, Lex, you gotta make those hits. Oh, never mind. Flat will do it for you. Do we gain experience? No, we gained honor. Oh, you don't have to hold it down? Oh, just press it and you're good to go? Just 
skip it. Like, it's probably gonna play out the same way. Whoa! Ha-ha! I have a thief, too. Thanks. Oh, wow. Stand true! Aha! Uh oh. Oh, got you that. Time. Just getting started. So does this weaken them? Uh, because they have fewer people on the uh, battlefield, right? we have to click on that. We can't just walk right up and beat him up. Okay, so we gotta step on that one thing then. Let's do it. Thief and Hunter. And you were aided by a man named Rolf, you say? Yes, my lord. He claimed to be with the Cornea Militia. Hmm. I have heard tell of common folk taking up arms to defend their fellow man. He may agree to join our cause, assuming we can happen upon him before the enemy does. It's yeah, worth the attempt do. if It'd be nice else. having an archer. We should make haste. Um, please stay safe out there. Oops, I'm sorry. Sorry, we shall. Cat. The only thing you need worry about is what to do with those flowers of yours. Oh. Coming for you, Black Talon Steel Bear. Move a character to someone they can speak to, then select talk from their action. Review which characters can see. Okay. Alright, so stage conversations. So it needs to be Elaine talking to him. Okay. So I guess that makes it uh, easy. We should put out Elaine first. So that way we have the cavalry. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. The day will be ours. The time is at hand. Onward. All right. Who else? Do we want? Let's go, Clyde. I ride for Cornea. Clyde. I'm ever in your How service. Do you do? Nothing. You do good damage there. And you manage to take that guy out. Yeah. In service of the royal awaiting your command. As you wish. Oh, Rolf, I never miss my target.
Thieves and Hunters. Ah! So that one fight uh, with the hunter, or er, the thief up top, if we have Rolf in our party, Eagle Eye, he'll be able to hit that. that okay, better okay. Than I expected. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Yeah, I think we can skip this. For the liberation. What would you ask? We'll use uh, Joseph to uh, level up Travis. Very well. You're going there. You're going to top. Come. Oh, there's a shiny thing on the battlefield. I've not chosen my grave yet. Shiny thing. Okay. And there's a shiny thing over there. Awaiting your command. By your word. What shall I do? Oh, you're zero zero now? That sucks. Huh. I depart. Oh, alright, so we can find items on the battlefield. Cool. We shall make proper use Holy of this. Her. I am yours to command, Your Highness. Stand before me! Is there any way that we can change it to where we do better? Here too. We could do a re oh oh okay okay. Let's battle. Nice. Oh, there are two thieves. I thought there were just one. All right, all right. So he's gonna probably dodge that. Dodge that. Couldn't dodge that. Seems we've done it. It was fate which brought us here. I'll not fail you. Very well. Taking forever for them to get over there to talk. I'm ever in your service. Oh, they do good damage. It shall be done. Gaze upon the face of your demise. They're probably gonna have a thief dodge every. Yeah. Oh, but he got him once. Cool. I have you. Not so nice. Saw that. There we go. Cool, cool. Stand uh -oh. true. Harding blow. Nice try. Woo. The battle is won. Awaiting your command. As you wish. Since they're gonna blow away grateful. that unit, let's use it on them so that way they get like a lot of experience out of it. Try me. Do you see now? There we go. Hmm. I 
take it you're the one they call Rolf. That depends on who's asking. We stand with the Liberation Army. We just spoke to a pair of civilians who claimed you helped them to safety. So the girls made it out. More welcome news than I'm used to, that. There we go. It's as you say. I am Rolf, captain of the Cornian Militia. What militia we have, at least. If you're truly willing to brave these bandits, then I'd be glad to have you join me. That's precisely why we've come. We confront them together. There we go. Nice. Excellent. Do uh, his troopers join us as well, or is it just roll? That sounds good. I shall hold nothing. Oh, back. there we go. Nice. A little bit of tricorn pride for you. Yeah, keep gaining that evade. A trivial undertaking. I'll not fail you. By your word. Who's my target? Right. We march. To me. Oh, I see. Prepare There's yourselves. a shiny thing over by that fence. That shiny. I'll prove my worth. I depart. What utter luck? Careful, fruit. Careful. Fruit. Hoist the banners. I'm here, Your Highness. What shall I do? Yeah. Stand before me. Oh, they got a ranged assist themselves, though. That uh, didn't really do too much damage, though. There we go. Okay? A flawless victory! Victory! I'll prove my worth. It shall be done. The time is at hand. Really got to get a lane up in here. I'm ready. We'll get him close enough just so Understood. we can uh, lend in support. Awaiting we can bring your these command. Guys up too. Very well. An excellent find. Your I'm own. ever in your service. As expected. I shall never fail. Yeah, we don't need this here. Ooh. A worthy foe. Okay. We march. Huh. Support you. Okay, okay. That's good. Let's see if there's any dialogue. You had some bad luck there crossing paths with us. But that's nothing a slit throat can't solve. Alright, good start. Good start. Ooh, not so good. Okay, good, good. 
shall protect you! You're done for! Oh, pretty. We march on! Time is at hand. Excellent. We march. This will be easy. <laughs> Come then. I'm here too. Right, let's see what happens. Okay. Ooh. So we're gonna miss that. Right we're gonna miss again. Gotcha. We should hit him the third time. There we go. Uh, look who's playing hero. Good. Ah, good levels, good levels, good goal. Another step forth. Luminous cover. Cover an ally with medium guard, grand side ally, plus 20% defense. Nice. I have much room to improve. Never doubt a desert kid. Okay, okay. Oh, no abilities for the other two. Viper Fang. So we got Poison Slash. I might put that on uh, our feet. on a poor damn soul you dare speak of mercy what of the mercy you showed all those you've robbed and pillaged please it's my sister back when our mom and dad passed I was broken an empty shell of a man but she never left my side stayed right there next to me till the day she took ill herself started fading and fast Carried her slump round my shoulder to the best healer my coin purse could buy, but it was no use. Only thing I could do was watch her wither into dust. You ever seen that? It's a pain worse than death itself. But I didn't stop searching, day after day after wicked day. <sighs> Till finally, I had got what I asked for. But the cost of the cure would make a weaker man faint where he stood. Now, tell me, how's a guy who's never had the gold for schooling supposed to make that kind of coin? Thieving's all I'm good for, so thieving's how it had to be. Wouldn't have turned to this if I had another way. A word, your highness. Somber as his story may be, you mustn't let pity cloud your judgment. Only the town watch can determine the appropriate sentence for his crimes. His fate is not ours to decide. My life square in your palms, noble sirs. Please, I'll return everything I stole if you just let me go. He's gonna give back everything that he stole. Very well. Redemption is not beyond reach, neither for you nor your sister. I only hope you seek it in earnest. Watch a beast you mean to let him walk? Sister. I'll repay this kindness in full, my lords. I swear it on my honor as a black talon. How much you want to bet he lied to us?
Jussie lied discreet. It <laughs> wasn't mine. Before I do that, let's expand their unit. They come really close to taking him out, the only thing that hurts them is the lack of damage. Actually, let's give him that uh, upgraded bow, too, that we got. Increases targets level by one. Okay, that's cool. All good, discreet, all good. Alright, let's see what happens there. So close. Oh, but they take him out. Nice, nice. We'll just skip that one. We need more trout if we want to upgrade that one uh, town back there. So we got to find somewhere where we can loot some trout. We had that. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can take this guy out now.
I just want to see what happens. Yeah, so Travis is gonna miss. He hits. Hold fast. Nope. Ooh, he gets. So he'll miss. Ooh. Oh, so we just don't have enough to hit him. I fight in me yet. Okay, okay. So house curls. Oh, we can't hire anyone? Do we not have enough honor to hire someone? Yeah, we might be lacking honor, so we can't hire someone. Let's see if we can find some uh, trout down here. Oh, please be trout. Whoa, why are you... Oh, oh, he just wanted to talk. Okay. Thought he wanted to fight us. Wait, Travis? Our feet? So if it doesn't sound like him, they're probably doing that mind control thing that they did with, um, uh, Holdrick. We got our parties like pretty high for that. We should have enough deliveries. Oh, we got three. We need five. So corny and trout. Hmm. Nope. I just want to see something really quick. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, we would not win that one, I feel. There's a thingy thing right over there that I can't get to. Yeah, I don't want to tangle a mage with a mage yet. Huh. We just need some of that trout and then we'll be able to get, uh, get that one town. Hmm. Alright, I think that we might hold right there for now. Next episode we'll pick up, we'll go through, we'll uh, we'll take on Bruno, I think was his name. We'll go after Bruno. Hmm. The name like that, guy sounds like he's tough. Huh. But yeah, I think we'll stop right now. But hey guys, I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope to catch you on the next one. 
discreet. Awesome talking with you. Hope I see you again. I'll probably uh, be asking uh, for your advice a little bit on this. If you got about like 30 hours in it, I think that could be helpful. Alright guys, till next time. Take care.